Welcome back, friends. This is Savage Sasquatch. We're playing Horizon Zero Dawn. After an exceedingly long load screen to get back to Meridian, we are here. And we are... Let's see. We are pursuing the quest. The sun shall fall. That is where we are going to infiltrate a secret eclipse base and crash the cult's network. Alright. So, they're sending us this way. Check out these wares! Check out. We're almost there. <sighs> it's a bustling city that is. That's probably why this area has the big long load screen. Hey, there's a little data point. There's actually loot over here. Everybody keeps their <laughs> their money and valuables in boxes that anyone can open. No wonder we don't have a hard time succeeding here. Stay busy, friend. Okay. Look well. And over this way. Watch out for the Asaram merchants. They'll assume cheap. That's right, Aaron, Aaron said to go a ahead on this quest, and so we come this way. Amazing. I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. There'll be time for all of that later. Aloy. Hey, that's me. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course, but now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Oh no, it's gonna be one of those. She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crime. All right. So they want us to take him alive. I'm guessing that's another choice that we can make. I do like that. It seems like it leaves a lot of choice in our hands, and I'm curious if things change story-wise. I doubt that they change much, but... Alright, we're gonna go to this warehouse. Yeah, I was saying, I doubt that they change much, but... You know, still, feeling like you have some kind of control. It's always nice. Sunshine always makes me feel like... Helps the, the story, um... Everyone needs gel with us a little better, for lack of a better word. Come, let's talk it over. If you can think of the better word I'm thinking of, leave it in the comments hey, below. Alright, so we cross the city. 
We're looking for this warehouse slash shop. It's a welcoming little place. This is the place! You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you! He has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. Okay, so how about we go up? Oh. We got another one up here. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Derval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. Blaze, it must be leaking from something upstairs. Okay. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. There we go. Now let's push. With all our might. Help and some of our might out. not. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. <laughs> What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is going to get set off. Uh... Will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Wow. And we made the bombs, the explosion smaller? <sighs> we did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Duval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. And that's uh -oh. too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. If he tries for the palace, he's finished. Boot tracks. With just a bit of blaze in them. Did you hear that blast? Can I Are we under attack? Alright, so nobody noticed, noticed the terrorists dragging large bombs into the city. Van freaking tastic. See for yourself. Alright. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fire things? There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Here we go. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Whoa. Durval did find a way into the palace. Possible, we might be able to end this part of the storyline. We'll see. Durval. All right. So we get to make the jumpy jumpies of the ages. We got we got to catch up. So did Derval and his dudes do this? Because I figured there had to be a better way. But at the same time, you you are breaking into the palace. This is this is Ocean's Eleven enough for getting in. Alright. Hmm. 
mercenaries. All right, we're gonna load up on arrows here. Wish I could be there to see the sun god on his knees. Oh, you won't even be here for it. Someone's gotta guard the rear. Someone better guard your rear. Well, they're still surprised. Get down. I can't believe that the, the triple strong arrow didn't kill him, though. It's pretty impressive. Depressive. Something. All right. What's our quest called here? Sun shall fall. It's an ominous foreboding title. Let's hope it shall not fall. All right, here we go. Let's stop and look at the lovely view. There's a nice bridge. There's a nice assassination going on in the upper courtyard. How lovely. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian, Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Oh, what? Nothing? Something's wrong. The uh, yep. It didn't. I I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. Marad, Avad, and Erend. He's even here. I can't leave everyone at the mercy of that machine. Yeah, that's why we hit the destroy button, and that's easy enough. All right. So I think we just simply need to travel through here. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Two arms! Why does Avad always have his ladies do the fighting? I it's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Third plan is bat, sheep, crazy. Oh, he's gonna have everything descend on us. Fantastic. Let's see if the Glint Hawks take him away. Come on, then. Ah! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks! I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way! Yep, I do like fighting them. I don't like when they do that. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Ah. Right. ah! Those 
majestic, murderous Glinthawks. All right, we're gonna get this guy right in his big oh, icy like chest. These things because there's more in the way. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. All right. Man, health potions everywhere. There we go. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. All right, we've leveled up. That's good news. Where is... There it is. Shoot him in his belly. I hope you like fighting these things, because there's more in the way. We not destroy his little didger, his little bird attracting didgeridoo here. Splint hawks. about some good penetration on that shot. All right. I like that we're getting these frozen kills off of guys freezing themselves, basically. Those majestic, murderous glint hawks. over here now. Somewhere. Ah! ah! Bad bird. Very bad bird. No popsicles for you. Go talk to Durval. You think? Any more loot? I would like more potions because I used a lot. Oh, and there's a uh, something to loot. It's not gonna let me loot it because it's just on the edge of the thing. Oh well. Oh wow, we could go all the way down here to fight. We really had the run of the. No the run room. of everything here. Little did we know. <coughs> Draval's still sniveling back up here in his spot, so... As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren... You'll screw it up! King Belly Shirt is here. I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your kill. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. 
This was like an episode of 24 where you do find and stop the bomb in time. Alright, so Derval. being dragged off. Where the heck? How far did they get already? I'm going full out sprint. Your time, Outlander? What I don't get about Meridian. All these fancy decorations everywhere. Down right under there. Over this way. Out of my way, short shorts. The Osram family next door keeps me up all night with their bicker. Come to gloat, Nora. Well, as you can see. I get it. You want to rub it in? Well, it's not worth I guess this was simply to show that we know where he is now. Because there is no useful chat there. That was a waste of running across Everyone the city. A splash of color in the shadows under the Come, sun. let's talk it over. So let's go talk to Avada and Erend. Machines or bandits try to get past me, they'll have a fight. This might this probably ties up this main this part of the main quest line to where we are singularly focused now. All right. What's Aaron have to say? Aloy, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? Right. <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <laughs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Durval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, after all this, what's next for Erend Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean less chit chat, more drink. <laughs> what do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, They'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well... I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. I like Aaron. He seems like a good dude. She could do worse. And Avad. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. 
and I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength, but we couldn't be together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. When he started talking about relations, I thought the this was going in a different the way. The Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. What exactly will happen to Derval? For now, he'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sunring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering. But some Osaram devices surpass even his imagined what a waste. Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines. Weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad. A Shadow Karja splinter group. Corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come? Do you know? I'm not sure yet. And we will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn more. All right. Shall we talk some more? Why? Well, I would think that... Not... Huh. Well, to start with, I could use someone... Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Well, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman, just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us, not a goodbye. I have to go. I understand. This guy's the regular Romeo here. All right. He wants to get with all the strong, self, uh, self-reliant women. Okay. You still want to talk? I might need a hanky. I'll see you later. I hope so. Aaron seemed like a better fit. More of a man's man. She didn't need a, a soft king. Alright. So, this brings us down to our main quests. We're going to head to the Curse of Darkness next. Alright. We have finished. The only side quest left is that ancient armory, and we don't have access yet to the third... To our third... Um, power cell yet that'll be coming in a future quest a future video i don't know exactly when but i know it's still coming so i hope you guys enjoyed everything um if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please make sure that we uh that you hit the subscribe button or you can find a link down below in the description also uh leave us a comment let us know if you're enjoying the story the commentary or the nap you had while i was talking and last of all, please give us a thumbs up to show your support. Let's see how many we can get. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch, and I am out of here. I'm going to be taking off on this campfire next and working our way east when next you join us. Thanks, gang.